Hey everybody, in today's tutorial I want to talk about some great resources that hopefully will help you to ace your next technical interview. These resources cover information such as how the web works, data structures and algorithms, securing your applications, JavaScript algorithms and how to build large scale systems. For each resource I will go over it I will explain it and I will include a link in the video and it should be here or here. Before going further, I would advise you to watch the whole video and not to skip parts because all these resources are super useful and they will definitely help you to ace your next technical interview. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. The first resource is the Coding Interview Repository. It's one of the most comprehensive resources for interview preparation. The repository actually started as a study plan of the repository owner, which he successfully used to become a software engineer. The repository contains information about data structures and algorithms, dynamic programming, object-oriented programming, design patterns, and more. Be aware that this resource is super comprehensive and you don't have to learn everything or at least you don't have to learn everything at once. So take your time and take this resource step by step but don't be put off by the amount of information. It's gonna take a while until you learn everything. With that being said, let's move on to the next resource. The next resource is the Tech Interview Handbook. This is another useful resource. It covers information about technical interviews, but not only. It also covers the job application process, such as how to create a resume, a cover letter, and then it covers the interview process, such as behavioral questions, what questions to ask in the interview, and lastly, it also covers the post-interview process, like negotiation. What I like about this resource is that you learn more than just the technical bits and you learn other stuff as well, such as what questions to ask in the interview and how to negotiate your salary. Therefore, this is a resource I highly recommend. Moving on. We have the System Design Primer. This is another super handy resource. For small side projects, we might get away without planning or too much thinking. However, building large scale systems is a completely different game. Learning how to design scalable systems will help you become a software engineer. Not to mention that you will be asked about this subject in the interviews. Therefore, this resource, the system System Design Primer Repository is a collection of materials and resources from the internet. The owner of the repository put together resources and materials from different sources. The nice thing about it is that the repository is constantly updated, so keep an eye on it. The repository contains information such as a study guide, how to approach system design questions and solutions to those questions. I highly recommend this one as well. The next resource is the interview repository. The interview repository doesn't have a description or a guide on how you should use it. It only lists links to other resources and it groups these links by their topic. For instance, we have the algorithm section which includes books, coding practice websites, guides and MISC stuff. I like this repository in particular because of the number of resources included. Also, I like that they are categorized by type. Besides that, it deserves an extra point for having similar repositories at the end. That means it has links to other repositories that help you prepare for your next technical interview. Moving on, we have another useful repository which is about securing your application. Security is super important, so it's something we shouldn't miss as developers. 
Security was, is, and will always be an essential topic when building applications. If your applications are not secure, it can result in disastrous consequences. The nice thing about this repository is that the information applies to securing anything, not only applications. The repository owner claims to aim to document a process for securing anything, whether it's a medieval castle, an art museum or a computer network. The repository is very well laid out and it includes a ton of information and extra materials to supplement your learning. I cannot recommend it enough. The next resource is about how the web works. Before moving on, I want to talk about an experience of myself in the interviews. In my first technical interview, I was asked what happens when you type a URL in the browser. Probably you encounter the same question or maybe you will in the future. Therefore, this repository has answers to this type of questions. You can find information about how DNS, HTTP protocol and server work or about the DOM tree, render tree, page painting and so on. It's a super handy repository to learn the basics of how the web works. Moreover, the repository includes additional links to explore some subjects more in depth. Do check it out. The last resource is the JavaScript Algorithms Repository. As it can be inferred from the name, this is a repository only for JavaScript algorithms. Therefore, this is only useful if you apply for JavaScript positions. However, if you understand how to implement these algorithms in JavaScript, you should be able to translate that to other languages as well. Each data structure and algorithms in this repository comes with its separate readme. It also includes links to further material. Therefore, you can always find more information. However, with this repository, I want to mention that some information might be scarce and you might need additional learning material. Anyways, the repository is excellent to practice algorithms and data structures. Please drop a look. I really hope these resources will help you ace your next technical interview. In my case, they helped me a lot and I hope this will be the case for you as well. Remember that this list is not exhaustive. There are other great resources out there, but these are the resources I used with great success. Actually, if you know other resources, I would like to see them, so feel free to drop them below. Thank you for watching this video.